online IQ test, and it said I had an 80 IQ, meaning sight retardation. I was like, where are you? You don't even know how good I am at shooting hoops, man. <laughs> now that I know I got sight retardation, I've been parking in handicap spots. Someone's like, hey, you can't park there, you know, I got an 80 IQ. <laughs> If I parked anywhere else, I'd get lost. <laughs> All this time, I had an 80 IQ. I want to go back to all my old teachers and be like, see, I wasn't even supposed to be in your class. <laughs> my apartment got broken into, but they just wound up looking around and not even stealing anything. I was like, what, my Planet Earth TV? Good enough for you. They just sprayed me to get a job on my wall. And then they broke into my neighbors and stole his Brita filter. I was like, ah, oh, see, that's why I drink tap. I'm not trying to turn myself into a target. Smart. Oh, my fridge just broke too. They wanted to charge me like 200 bucks to fix it. And I was like, forget that, man. I don't any food in anyway. So. I just emptied it out, put all my clothes in it, and turned into a dresser. <laughs> Got all my underwear in the vegetable compartment. The girl came over. She's like, you got condoms? I'm like, yeah, let's go in the fridge under the socks. <laughs> People want to call me ghetto. I'm like, that's just being smart. <laughs> My microwave just broke too. I'm about to turn that into a spice cabinet. <laughs> Getting hooked up. I, um, I applied to drive for Uber a couple months back, and they straight up rejected me. They just sent me an email that said no. I was like, what you mean? No, I got an auxiliary cord. <laughs> but they never responded, and then they just emailed me the other day asking if I still wanted to work for them. I was like, oh, no, you guys missed your chance. <laughs> I work for a dog walking at now. <laughs> I'm not a recognized talent. <laughs> and it's way better than Uber, too. Like, dogs don't keep asking how long you've been dog walking for. <laughs> I actually used to be a lifeguard, and part of my training, we learned how to deliver a baby. And you know, it's really not that hard. Right? I just like ease it out, cut the little cord, so it's a boy or girl. Simple as that. And, you know, hospitals charge like five grand to deliver a baby. Like, I'll deliver your baby for you for like 40 bucks. Just do it in my apartment. Roommate will help out. I'm gonna start putting up ads and site. I'm trying to get birth on a budget. Forty bucks or best offer. And if you let me name the baby, I'll take off twenty percent. Give it a cool name like Dice. Girl gave me a fake number the other day. <laughs> Called her, I was like, went straight to the air. I was like, damn, I should have known I was only six days. <laughs> like, I don't know why girls keep giving. One time a girl gave me a number to a suicide hotline. Oh. And they were like, oh, I think you got the wrong number. I was like, nah, maybe I don't. <laughs> I, took, I went on a date that I took this girl to an all-you-can-eat spot. But I got mad because she like barely ate anything. Was like, I didn't drop 25 bucks just you have a slice of pizza. And she was like, oh, I'm not hungry. I was like, all right, well, we'll just hang out here and wait to the end. Of the day. Yeah, it is, man. Next time, 
next time I'll bring a bunch of Simone and do this with Queen Bra. <laughs> You guys hear they just opened up a uh, skyscraper in downtown and they're calling it the tallest building in California just because they stuck like a 200 foot pole on top of it. <laughs> like there's a taller building right next to it. They're like, no, our building's taller. We got that pole on top. <laughs> like that's just, that's like if I walked around and someone asked me how tall I am and I was like six foot ten. And they're like, what are you talking about? <laughs> I got pulled over the other day by a bicycle cop. <laughs> I don't even know why I stopped. I should have just kept it. <laughs> he comes up like, you know why I pulled you over? I was like, because I got a car, are you jealous? <laughs> and he like, oh man, I start writing a ticket. Then he got called away on an emergency. He was like, what, shots fire where? All right, I'll be in like 45 minutes. <laughs> So anyway, you guys have a great rest of your show. Thank you very much.